dare you dig a little deeper It makes you feel a little stronger Who knows what you may find You'll see in your own time It might just take a little longer It all goes by so slowly I've never been a fan of inflatable kayaks or rafts, but these seem to be in another league, really, don't they? <laughs> so, is it Hyperlong? Yeah, well, a variant of Hyperlong. That one's Hyperlong. So, it'll stand the weather better in the sun. Yep. And how much of them? 650, 700 quid. It's a double that. Well, it was when I bought it. That's 400. That's more of a raft, though, isn't it? It's, this is a white water raft for two people. Yeah. And you've had that in some serious water? I have. Grade four? Grade four, a little bit of grade five, some waterfalls. And how long you had it? 2010. That's not bad then, is it? Yeah. Took it fishing, sea fishing. Did it catch the wind? Yeah. <laughs> but if you find a buoy, just clip onto it. That's what I do normally. You don't go far. I'll wait a few days. Yeah, catches the wind, definitely. This does. Good boy. Good boy. Is that right, Louis? <laughs> You're not a fan, are you? Hey? Louis, are you coming in? <laughs> Good boy. Good boy, are you okay? Are you dried out? If you dried out, little fella. Hey, if you dried out. So how long have you been sailing then, Dad? About six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We've written it off. With What's all this thing? water in here, Dad? <laughs> we nearly went a bit Titanic. <laughs> About two minutes. Oopsie. All coming together now. <laughs> oh, it nearly went in it. The complete <laughs> side was under. <laughs> Would have been a nice little leaving present for us. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, Lee, we swim back. Oh dear. We have to wait on Monday till the centre opens and then you get the boat out and drag it in. <laughs> you like being back out in the camper van, Louis? With all your mates? The dog's life. There she is, back in the galley. Back in the galley, having me cup of tea. Mr. Yorkshire, that's my mug. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Tastes nice in that mug. Hello. Hello, Baxter. Hello. Let's see it is. Camper van. Long wheel burst. Pete's and Gemma's van. It's a bit different, this one. Bit of a different layout. I haven't seen one like this before. Very different. I went with Pete when he bought this, and it was the first one I'd sort of seen in this layout. So you've got, talk us through it then. So what we've got is, um, we we had quite specific requirements really. There's um, there's three of us, so our daughter as well, and we needed a space for us to sleep. Don't forget Baxter, we've already seen Baxter. Yeah, well, yeah Baxter got, was yeah. an afterthought. <laughs> um, but so, and Gemma needed a toilet, wanted a loo, so... We didn't need, we <laughs> wanted, that was a request. So the, the it wasn't you just needed a toilet at that point, no, you wanted a toilet wanted in the van. Point, yeah, right, okay. Exactly. You just didn't need a wee at that specific no, time. Yeah. 
So what we've got now, this converts into a big double bed. It comes right out here. And I've built in an extra bit there. That sits on top of there. And a cushion goes on top as well. So we've got actually bigger than a double bed. It okay. Which is really nice. It so those cushions at the back there. Yeah, these, yeah. Oh, sorry. That goes on there. And then the big one slides over onto the big board. Ah, that's so lovely. It's yeah. nothing fancy, but it does allow us that if our four-year-old climbs in... To wear oh, it. thank you. Um, if our four-year-old climbs in at the night, or our dog also climbs in at the night, there is enough space for all of us, although Pete tends to sleep in a small fetal position just here. I get what I've given. <laughs> <laughs> so the dog has a bigger bed than you? Yeah, yeah. he does. Yeah. So we've got storage under here, which is really good. We've got um, a heater under there as well which Chinese is, diesel uh, heater yeah fantastic gives out loads of heat and that's fastened to your main tank isn't it yeah it's been to the main tank which is really good and um we've got electrics there which have been uh, professionally fitted by one man in his whippet <laughs> <laughs> um yeah yeah i think you might be contradicting things there but yeah <clears throat> so that all works really really well um we've got a nice little fridge Oh mm, yeah, little posh fridge. So was that in it when you bought it? No, no, yeah, I bought this in. That. So this fridge, um, it's got the compressor on a side there, right? Um, because the wheel arch is under there, um, so we had to go a little bit special. It would, it um, does that give you more room in the fridge? Then gives us more room in the fridge. It's got a little freezer. Oh yeah. Yeah, little freezer. It's not the world's biggest fridge, but it fits beers in. Um, but it just allows us to have the compressor, so it fits a bit further Good, back, yeah. and it still allows the cupboard door to shut standard sink and uh, two ring thing then we've got storage big space cupboard. yeah big cupboard there big cupboard down below big cupboard here as well yeah we've got We've got a lot of storage in here actually. That is a here. massive toilet shower unit isn't it, it is yeah have you got a bath in there yeah have a look oh, lights are on but shall we put the lights on for you yeah oh. end one there we go, there we go. See the light, the electrics do work. <laughs> That's plenty of room in there, and oh, you've got a little basin, fold down basin, and everything in there. But that yeah. is massive, isn't yeah. it? You could probably get a small bath in the bottom of there. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's not nice. Fact, there's probably more room in there than where you sleep. Yeah, nice timber door there, looks really good. Um, this is for our, our four year old, so great little space. And to be fair, I can fit in here and sleep in this memory foam mattress. Getting into it was a bit of a problem, and then I found a nice little um, kid's ladder. <laughs> so we've got a nice little ladder there, but it still allows us to access... Other storage. Other storage, the wine oh, rack. Right. <laughs> wine rack. <laughs> wine whack, I can't say it. Wine rack kept with the child. And cupboards, all that sort of stuff. Um, nice little bit of kingspan that fits in here. <laughs> but great in winter. Good. Does the job, Does, yeah. um, and it makes it a lot darker as well. What you're really looking so. at is a lot of DIY um, adjustments. Well, the vans are never <laughs> finished, you know. You never finish yeah. a van. They're always a but work in progress. You've got cupboards up here as well, and yeah. then you've had this shelf put in here, haven't you? That yeah, gives which you... Is another great storage. And your table's in there as well. Table's in there, so yeah. you can just whack that out when we want to eat. Uh, there's storage underneath the chairs in the front as well. There's storage above the seats. You haven't got any solar on the roof yet, have you? No, no. not yet. Um, We've done three, four days away and we don't... You've got a split so charger, haven't you? Yeah, split charger and then we've got a mains charger. I'll show you around the back. Well, we're setting up our awning because we've got a big um, uh, Van Gogh Hexaway awning which works really well and it's a drive away one as well. Um, while we're setting that up, nice little chalkboard there for Little In. She can doodle away. Nice so in the shelf. big garage in the back there then? Yeah, big garage. Um, so I can fit paddle boards, canoe stuff in there. Got a table and chairs. Waffle boards, should we ever need them? Gotta have a waffle board. Um, and then there's the mains there. Um, mains hook up and a charger for your batteries to, from the mains. Paddle rack. And that's your water tank. Yeah. Yeah. So all the bits fit in, and then we've got a bike rack on the back as well. as well. Excellent. Which makes a nice laundry rack. And you, I was showing earlier on an inflatable canoe, and that's your inflatable canoe, isn't yep. it? Because she was going to put a roof rack on, but as the situation is with these vans, if you try to put one afterwards, you have to go right through the roof, and it's yeah, a nightmare. It really messed up the roof lining. So I thought, what do I want? How often am I going to use it? Um, trolled the internet and I found the uh, the Gummatex Palava, which um, it fits all three of us in it and the dog 
um, and it rolls up into a little rucksack. I'm really impressed with that because I've seen them in the past and they've always struggled and they've been poor quality and they struggle because you blow them up on land and they get warm in the sun, you put them on the cold water and then they need some more air in them because they go all soddy but that's Hyperlong, is it, yeah, or an equivalent? Material, well, it's an equivalent to Hyperlon. Um, it, it's a laminate of five different materials. Um, the two outer tubes don't have relief valves on, but they're that big that the pressure doesn't really yeah. matter that much. And then, um, and that was about six hundred quid. About six fifty, something yeah. like that. Yeah. So that's about the same price as a decent set on top, anyhow, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then we've got a, a red paddle company, um, ten six uh, paddle board. So when we, we go out and about, I use the boat with the dog and um, Little and in, and Gemma's on the paddleboard. And we can go away and do little trips, and it's nice. Good setup, uh, isn't it? Also got a little reversing camera on there as well, which goes into the sat nav. Um, no, that works well. Um, Is there any more changes you're going to make to the van? Or are you just going to get really, out and no, use just it? Just try and get out and use it as much as we can. We're in lockdown at the moment, just starting to ease, so um, you know we're allowed to get out and about now, which is good. I mean, it's um, it's an old van. It's 2008, so sprint. It's in good nick, though. It's not bad. I mean, I, I spent a bit of money and had a uh, bit of body work done and um, spray work done, but it's just keeping on top of it. Um, Hammer right is going to be my best friend. I think <laughs> Hammer right to move right. And Baxter even has a buoyancy head. Look, he does. <laughs> So everybody's interested in ways you can earn money on the road. So with a camper van, when you're out and about, and you've got quite a unique way of doing this, which I haven't heard before. Many people are sort of on the internet doing match betting mm -hmm. and promotion stuff, or working as labourers and things like that, and doing mobile work as part of that process. But you have a separate way of doing this, don't you? Yeah, I mean, like there is there is loads of things you can do. Um, for me, so I have mindfulhealththerapies.com check me out I'm on Facebook as well I'll put all the links for Gemma's sites below so you can check her out um, but I'm a qualified yoga instructor um, so I basically teach so many live sessions a week I also do pre-recorded um, sessions I have like um, a site called the mindful yoga portal which is on my mindfulhealththerapist.com site good Sorry. plugs good plugs Sorry they're the all plugs. in there Sorry. aren't they um, get them in there um, but basically on the Mindful Yoga Portal I, I have like a library bank of videos of meditations, yoga flows, pre-recorded classes and then obviously my clients also have access to live classes as well um, but it doesn't matter where I am providing I have Wi-Fi which I've got a dongle for um, or there's Wi-Fi signal in the area I can just steal my husband's hotspot then I just get my iPad out and film where I am so we can be anywhere. So we're here at this site today. This mm -hmm. this is um, run by some friends of ours and they've had some trouble so they let us stay here overnight just to keep an eye on the place while it's not been fully used. But you're literally, you're just setting up here. Yeah, Louis is about to pee up your tripod by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I did stop him. So you'll actually set up a session here, yeah, record so just... it like YouTube. Yep. And and you'll put it on your website, and then yep. people can you'll put it as part of a library, and people so, will. Yeah, so they can. There's, well, there's different things I post. So I also have a YouTube channel, uh, Mindful Health Therapist. <laughs> also, <laughs> um, and I post so much on YouTube. But uh, yeah, I do a lot of pre-recorded stuff for the library bank on the um, portal that my members sign up to. Um, and again, it doesn't matter where I am to record. And I mean, sometimes as well, when I'm delivering a meditation or relaxation session, actually being out in nature, because sometimes I'll take myself a little bit away from the van, um, so I've got no noise of backs of the dog, Pete and um, Livy. Um, it's just great to be in nature. And I think as well with yoga, you have that kind of, it's all about, you know, being aware of your surroundings, being aware of your body, your mind, and being out in nature, out in the countryside. What more can you ask? So for? you have like subscribers to your website, yeah, and they so, pay a monthly fee, yeah. and they can use your library of things. But yeah. you also run live classes, yeah, I do. And, and is that in a way that's like in a normal classroom? So yeah, it's, you, it's, it's done two ways. So you can say stick your bum up a bit more, stick exactly. your elbow out, that type so of thing. So we have so the live streaming classes I do, I do via Zoom. Um, I just send out weekly invites, invites to those who are subscribed, but I also have pay as you go members as well, so people can just pay as they sign up to sessions as and when they want and send them out the links. Um, and how it works is I have a gallery on my iPad. Um, they have the, they can see me and then I can instruct and adjust them as needs be, just like you would in a studio. But what's really great I find about Zoom is 
I have to think and teach in this way as well is as, an, as a practitioner I have to think even more about the language I use for my clients so I think it actually allows people to become more conscious in their bodies whereas in your studio sometimes we can get dependent on the teacher adjusting and, and moving us whereas I'm having to be like right roof your left hip near your wall tilt it down a bit <laughs> right that's right no nope, lift it up a bit and but it, it actually you're becoming more conscious of your body you get I some funny looks when you're outside and you're giving those instructions to a screen yeah, but i just don't care <laughs> <laughs> i've got, just got no so shame. you can do that anywhere really you can record it you can record your previous sessions yeah. anywhere and then you can just need wi-fi to uh, yeah, upload them yeah i mean them. basically i i have stuff that i just upload and, and put onto my website and it's there for my clients and you don't use. need much kit so you you have no. a mat you have a tripod an ipad is it you yeah, use so on I'm there not, i usually i'm just about to get my ipad so i usually whack the ipad on there um and that's it sometimes i'll bring out extra lighting depending on the time of day that i'm filming and where we're at um sometimes i've got a wireless headset as well so if it, i mean the wind's just starting to pick up a little bit here i would put that on so it cuts out the background noise just in case it's going to be like really you know you don't need yeah. that when you're trying to relax um, but you don't need much um, and I think going forward um, personally I think with the world and how it is right now um, it must have been good for lockdown because people couldn't get to the normal yeah, classes yeah and it's do you know what it's been amazing like I've had I've actually you know I'm teaching people in Australia whereas I wouldn't be doing that do you use the accent different for people oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but <clears throat> you know I'm working with people who I would have never worked with I've had I've done videos um, cuz I also do like sports injury massage and things like that I've done you videos. can't do that over the net though can no you? no you can't. <laughs> well I can give advice oh, okay. I do give advice right. and, and people can self massage and I can talk them through yeah. it um, but I've done little short videos about you know how breastfeeding can damage your back and your neck and what you can do or neck issues and so forth and I've had people like I had a woman the other week email me from America just to say I want to tell you how much a difference your video has made to my life Brilliant. and you just think wow and the other thing as well as as a teacher I'm dictating what I earn yeah so not teaching in a studio where they decide what they're gonna pay me mm -hmm. so you can set your own value and you know this is a life and you have the freedom to be out and about and do it wherever you want and yes. the family can enjoy themselves and throw themselves in the water exactly and there comes fantastic. Louis look you always have to be in don't you it's got to keep face, so there, thanks Gemma and thanks for looking around your van and that's another way of any money on the road that's the first time I've heard somebody who does that type of thing on the road brilliant the modern world something for me Then he kept walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost Then I looked down at what he wrote I said, son, when you go 